Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel, and today I'll be reading a multi-character who's an by me. So let's get into it. Risley. Risley did not believe in soulmates. Because he's never met his own, or maybe because it felt too unrealistic. I didn't know. But I've seen others claim that they've met theirs. That, when they had met their soulmate, the world felt entirely different. Yet perfect and right in every possible way. He thought it was a little bit too poetic and too romantic. And maybe not real at all. Maybe they were just too far gone in their own mind to notice how unrealistic what they were saying was. But, regardless of its truth, he never really cared that much. And did not spend much time thinking about it. All until... When he had passed by you, and then suddenly, it felt like his world had shifted, entirely, and he had to pause, look around, to find that person who was now changing his world. And then he saw you. You were just doing something ordinary, when you then turned around, and you looked at him, your eyes meeting, as if your hearts were calling out for one another. When you approached him. So, you are... You're my soulmate. I wouldn't have expected for my soulmate to be the Duke. But here you are. Um, I, I hope that I didn't annoy you or anything. You say. Feeling a little bit nervous. But then he just chuckles. Holding your hand gently. You're not bothering me. I'm just as delighted as you are. No, I haven't had the pleasure of knowing your name. Would you tell me what it is? Why, Anne? He smiled, squeezing your hand. All right then, why, Anne? I guess I'll be seeing you soon, huh? You nod, blushing. And he kisses your cheek, leaving you stunned in the middle of the road. And that's how it all starts. It's a bit so different from how he's used to being, being romantic, but sometimes it actually comes rather naturally, giving you flowers, getting you the perfect gift, knowing how to help you, how to support and love you, it comes naturally to him, and somehow he's perfect at it, and maybe, just maybe, he was wrong about this whole soulmate thing. Because soulmates are real. And seeing you. And being that happy. Just being by your side. And being able to love you. That proves that having a soulmate. Is somehow the best blessing he's ever seen and had. Maybe they were not already acting at all. Because you did flip his own world upside down. And yet. It felt perfect. And just right. Like this was how it was meant to be. He's blessed to have you. He truly is. And most importantly. He wants you to know. Just how much he loves you. And how much he wants to appreciate you. And if you're in a relationship with Risley. It means that you will know that inevitably. Because he's very showy with his love. Lenny. Lenny did not know what to think of having a soulmate, only because, well, how it worked was really strange for him. Not that he was allowed that much time to think about it as a child, but sometimes, when he was absolutely sad, he would write things on his arm, knowing they would appear for his soulmate, and sometimes he would vent. But, the words he would receive in return were kind, in spite of how he was. He thought his own soulmate might ridicule him, might say things about him, and he never expected that his soulmate would be so kind. But even then, the idea of romance, it felt a little bit too much. And he has told his soulmate a lot of things. He wasn't sure if he could meet them now. But eventually, he did. By accident or on purpose. 
he did meet his own soulmate. That turned out to be you. You were working for a newspaper, and he was there for an interview. And it just so happened that some ink got spelled down on his arm. And somehow, he could see it, the mark on your hand, an arm alike. And he looked at you, his eyes wide, just like you looked back to his own. It's you? You're the... You're my soulmate? I... I suppose so. I mean, I'm just as surprised as you are. You're really my soulmate. So that means that you... Yeah, that I know everything about you? I suppose so. But you know things about me as well. Well, I... I'm glad to meet you now. You say, feeling rather hesitant, the words escaping you, despite having so many questions for him earlier. And yet somehow, finding out that he's your own soulmate, it made everything so much harder when it shouldn't be. You wanted to ask him so many things, to know things about him, and yet, you had no idea what to do about that, now that you had him. But, fortunately for you, he knew what he wanted. So, how about we go out on a date then? You know, I've been wanting to meet my soulmate for forever, but I was scared of it. Scared of the confrontation and all. But... Now that we met, we might as well just make use of it. Make the best out of our time. Well, if you want that. I mean, I've been wanting to meet you too. You had a lot of things to tell when you wrote on your hand. Or your arm. You wrote a lot. Everywhere. Sometimes it was hard to see. Because of your handwriting. Well, I'm sorry about that. But it's better now, isn't it? It is. You know what? I think I'll be happy with you. I have always been suspicious about how soulmates worked, and how they were supposed to be perfect for us. But now seeing you, and knowing that you are in fact my soulmate, maybe we were meant to be Lenny. He smiles, holding your hand gently and squeezing it. Maybe we are. Oops, I got ink all over your hand. Well, um... We'll just have to wash ourselves, right? I suppose so. It's fine, really. Don't worry about it.